Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. Thank you for coming to the channel. And we got to talk about something that is crazy. It seems like we can never stop talking about Sheree and what she does that she does make no sense at all juice door stopped over there at dish nation trying to i guess entertain them in a sense they had her as a guest host and she was giving them a little tea on season 14 and 15 and some things that happened in season 14 that would shock the shit out of y'all Okay, now we all know at the ending of um, the reunion, the third part on last Sunday, Sheree, towards the end of the show, or at the end of the show, she bought garments out for everybody, okay, that was sitting on the panel, or at least we thought that. She had the hats, she had the bags, she had the t-shirts, but like I was saying, she, she only had like three or four t-shirts up there. And, of course, she had a hoodie. And that went to Andy. Now, honey, when the lights was rolling down and the set was being cued to say it's a wrap, the camera stopped rolling. Guess what your girl, Sheree, did? Well, I'm going to go on into the uh, audio and then we'll discuss what she did with so preposterous <laughs> okay so down lowish okay it's like okay she's gonna have to definitely come back for season 15 because she gonna have to answer to all this bullshit that she did with the fashion show after the fashion show and whatever happened to the line of clothes that she showed during the fashion show all that shit was fake fraudulent fooly foolishness and fuckery going on Okay, I'm just saying, but y'all will quite understand as I get into it with this audio, and we can come back for my ending. Um, thoughts, I guess you would say, for lack of a better word. Okay, here we go. <laughs> from She Ba Sheree? It was giving screen printed as well. Oh. I was like, I didn't see this at the fashion Ooh. show. And y'all want some tea? After it was over, she was literally confiscating everything. So oh. back I need all of it back. Yeah, we didn't get to keep it. No. I have no She Ba Sheree. Oh, this day. MG. Uh -uh. Were y'all able to buy it? They made a grand it. Now you see what I'm saying? What kind of bullshit is that? What kind of no-name bullshit is that? Sheree don't pay Sheree lie her ass off, and Sheree is an Indian giver. Now, who does that, okay? You know she just got back on, or Andy them let her back on for season 15 so they can continue to make a fool out of her from the last part of season 14, okay? She's just going to be made a fool out of Boo Boo the Clown 
and they're going to clown her throughout the whole season of 15. Hopefully, we will not see her again. I am hoping. Whoo, child, I don't wish nobody not to have a job. But Shrey just get on your nerves. It's like, now we know she, from what Falka Dineva said, she didn't finish high school. Okay? That was something wrong right there. Why would you not finish high school? Yes, yeah, she was pregnant. But you could have went to an open campus until you had the baby. And then you could have came back, got your diploma or your GED. Because I'm like, where is your brain cells? Did they get eaten up after you married Bob Whitfield? And he treated you like shit, girl. Woo-wee. But let's go back to the audio. She's bringing the rack out and everything. She picked it. Did Andy get to keep his shirt? I don't know, but she was Surely confiscating Andy. it all. He put, it, he put his shirt on and took it right back off. Y'all should have put your on. <laughs> are you okay? Are you suffocating, baby? Okay, you show me how to pay <laughs> hair. Try it. Oh, okay. oh, you throw it. Oh. We're going to work on that. We oh. Gonna... Oh. And that was all. Yes, Miss uh, Drew Tador went over there to drop tea and to we bury charade in social media at the same damn time. Okay, first they were discussing. Drew couldn't say it fast enough. Sheree bought those uh, clothing apparels out just for show. Because just like Kenya wanted to take her water bottle and her uh, mat. You see how quick and fast to her is she got that mat from uh, Kenya through the uh, season 14 when they were supposed to go work out or whatever. Child, I mean, can you say, I thought I could keep this. She said, no, that's the only one I have. It's a prototype, this, that, and the third. I'm like, girl, are you keeping these items with your logo just for you? I mean, are they only just for you? You don't want to make any money? Because you damn sure didn't have no one being able to claim anything for as a purchase on your website right after the uh, reunion went off. Nobody could go, it crashed. But yet we still have had nobody to come on social media to tell us that they purchased anything. And they actually ordered it online and they actually got it and they loved it. So did you really even have a website to go is what I'm thinking. Sheree, you a piss poor. You a piss poor, honey. I don't know what else to say other than what do you do? Are you an escort, honey? Are you an escort like they're trying to say Marlo is in her spare time? Because we don't get it. We do not get it. We do not get it on a sensible level, on a common level, okay, common sense level. We don't get what you're trying to put out there for us to try to understand you. First, you had a fashion show with no fashions period nothing just the she by Sheree model 15 14 years later you come you have fashions that we can't even buy because you didn't even pay the designer for your for his work you owe him $2,500 you owe Drew $700 for some balloons that you and her were supposed to have uh went in together to celebrate Kenya and Marlo's um birthday I mean, what is your storyline going to be for season 15? How to show nothing? Is that what it is? How you can get back on the show and show us nothing? I mean, your storyline failed miserably with the She by Sheree. We got it. We saw it. And it moved on. And we couldn't even get on the train to even try to purchase anything. It just went on past us. Just like when Amtrak trains go when you're waiting uh until the train passes and then you can go on about your business that's how fast that she by sure shit went it came went gone okay i'm like this is total bullshit 
I can't believe she had us all anticipating something wonderful and for some, for something for her to leave as a legacy to her children and this, that, and the third. What are you passionate about, Sheree? What are your passion? What are you passionate about? Just being a socialite, because you know how to dress. You have good quality taste in apparel, but the whole thing about you're a designer. Uh, you were picking out your patterns. You were picking the person to sew them and put them together. All of that was just bullshit. And Drusador put you out on Front Street. Aired you out on local radio station. Okay? What do you have to say for yourself? I hope, hopefully they would get you to testify in season 15. Just what in the world were you doing with your brand? You might just pack that brand up, send it off to a, a deserted island, and let have, okay? Because now I guess your storyline is going to be you're dating Martell. And we know that shit ain't going to be nowhere near right. But that's all I had for this video, guys. I just had to bring it to you. My take on it. Then give you audio of what and why I got the decision that I made to bring out to you all. Now we need you to get down in the comments and tell us what you thought about this mess of a mess of a mess. That Sheree wasted our time and then some that we cannot get back. Okay? And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.